What's up everybody, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to monitor your switches, your servers, and other network devices with this free tool. I'll show you how to download, set up, install, and configure one of your switches or one of your servers with this free tool. Open your internet browser and go to this website, cacti.net forward slash downloads forward slash packages. And right here, we need to click on Windows. And if you're gonna to decide to just type this entire address and I'll actually will put link in the description below. You have to make sure W is capitalized. And right here, we need to download Cacti. So I'm just gonna download this one right here, executable. If by some reason your download will be blocked, what you need to do, you need to click on those three little dots and click on keep. And then in here, you'll get this message, this window, click on show more and then click on keep anyways and now we can minimize this window and then we can open file explorer and right here we just need to go on downloads and right here you will see cacti so just double click on it and in here just press on yes and now we just have to go through the installation process click next accept terms and conditions then click next if you don't have any web servers installed, we just have to click Apache here and then click next. I'll leave everything as default here, click next. I'm gonna leave C drive and then click next and then click install. And right here, we need to put a check mark here and then click allow access. Once the installation is complete, click on next. And right here, you can see that it created a couple of documents. One of them is called cacti password text file, and it was placed in a download folder. So right here, you can see, and then we can leave this check mark and then just click on finish. So now what we need to do, we need to set up a time zone on our PHP server. So what you can do, you can click on here, list of valid entries. And then here, just choose your region and then choose your location. And then we need to go back. We need to go to C drive, PHP and php.ini. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna right click on this PC. And I'm gonna open a new window. And in here, just double click on local disk C and right here, PHP, and then scroll down. Is this one right here, double click on it. And in here, we can just click on control and find and type time zone. Press enter and then you can close this. And right here, we need to change our time zone. So I'm gonna set to Chicago. Once you set to correct time zone, just close it and then save it right here. And that's it, this page can be closed. And now right here, we need to press on this link to log into Cacti. I'm just gonna open a new page. And right here, we need to use our username and password. The one was created during the install that's this one right here. Just open this file. Username is always admin and password as this one right here. So I'm just gonna copy. And then I'm gonna put check mark next to keep me sign in and I'm gonna log in. Once you log in, you can save the password or you can press on never. And in here, just put a check mark next to accept GPL license agreement and then click on begin. And then right here, click next, next again. Then next, next one more time, and then put a check mark here and then click next. And by default, most likely it's gonna set this network range. If you have different, you can put it right here, but I'm gonna leave everything as default because this is actual my network is, and then I'm gonna click next, and then next again, and then next, confirm the installation, and then click on install. Once the installation is complete, just click on get started. Okay, and in here, what we need to do, we need to click on left-hand side management. And in here, we need to start adding devices. So for example, I'm gonna be monitoring network switches and server. So just click on devices. And right here, we need to, on the top right corner, we need to click on this little plus sign, add. We need to add a device. So description is gonna be a switch and the host name is gonna be IP address. And then here for device template, I'll choose generic SNMP device. 
and in here we need to put SNMP community string. If you don't know what that is and if you don't know how to set it up, I'll show you really quick. Log into your switch. I'm just going to log in on this page. Type your credentials. And I'll show you on the Adtron switch. And I'm sure if you are using like Cisco or maybe Juniper or HP or Aruba switches, it's going to be similar. And if you don't have web interface access, I'm sure if you're just going to Google it, just, just type something, how to enable and set up SNMP community stream. So then once you log in, choose SNMP right here, make sure SNMP server is enabled and enable traps and then community string. And in here, I already have one string set up and I set up community string as a password. What you need to do, you need to type community string. You can type the default one as a public. And right here, we need to choose access wide. You can choose read and write. I'm just going to leave it as read only. And then I'm going to add and then save. So that's how you create community string on Adtron. And on the other switches, it's going to be something like that. It's going to be similar to this. So now we go back to Cacti. And in here, for community string, I'm going to put password because that's the one I have set up on my switch. And then I'm going to click on create. It says operation was successful. I'm going to press on OK. And right here on this left hand side, SNMP information. And it's actually start pulling information from my switch. If by some reason something is not going to be set up properly, then you'll have a red error message here. Then what we need to do, we need to click on create graph for this device. And in here, this is everything that we can monitor. So for example, if you have just one switch on your network, you can choose everything on here. You can choose every single port. Or if you have a lot of switches on your network, what you can do, maybe you just want to monitor the trunk port. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to monitor a few ports. I'm going to monitor this port right here because I know I have server plugged in into it. And I'm going to monitor this one and this one. And that's it. And then I'm going to click on create. And then I'm going to press OK. And now we need to click on management again. And in here we need to click on trees. And then in here we need to click on a plus sign. And then we need to type the name. I'm just going to type switch. And then you need to click on create. And right here we need to press OK. And then we need to click on trees again. And in here we need to choose our tree. And in here we need to set to publish. And then click on go. And then click continue. And now I'm going to add one more thing. I'm going to add a server. So I'm going to click on devices. I'm going to click on plus sign. And in here, I'm going to add server right now. I'm just going to type server. And then IP address of that server. And then in here, I'm just going to choose Windows device. And for SNMP, I'm going to show you how to do that on server as well. On your server, we need to click on start and we need to go into services. And in services, we need to scroll down and we need to find SNMP, SNMP service. And we have to make sure it's running. And for example, if you're not going to be able to see SNMP service, just SNMP traps, what you need to do, you need to click on start, go to control panel. And then, then in your control panel, click on programs and features right here. Turn Windows features on and off. Then we need to add a feature or a role in this window. You just have to click on next, next, next. And then right here, click on features and scroll down and make sure SNMP service is installed. And then just go through the installation process. So once you have that done and then you go back to your services and right here, you see SNMP services running, you can double click on it. And then you can click on agent right here. We have to put a check mark next to every device that you would like to monitor. And then we need to click on security right here. What we need to do, we need to add the community string or a name, click add read only. And then I'm just going to type password and then click add. And then here, what we also we need to do, we need to add IP address of our Cacti server. So that way it's going to accept SNMP packages 
from that host. So I'm going to click add and I'm going to type 192.168.1.160. And just to make sure, if we go back to Cacti server in here, just click on start, type CMD, open command prompt and type ipconfig. And right here, this is your IP address. That's the IP address we need to add into our server. And then in here, just press on add and apply and OK. Now we're going to go back to Cacti server. So now in here, since we set our community screen to password, I'm just going to type password. And then I'm going to click on create. And then I'm going to press OK and it's successfully connected. And then I'm going to click on create graph for this device. And in here, it gives me an option what I would like to monitor. So it shows all my hard drives. It shows all of my processors. It shows literally everything that's running on that server. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to probably choose uh, just the processors and maybe hard drives and you can choose everything else, but it's just going to create a bunch of graphs and then click on create and then press on OK. And then same thing, we need to go to management. We need to click on trees and then we need to click on this plus sign. And then in here, we need to type server. And then we need to click on create, press OK, and then trees one more time. And in here, we need to put a check mark next to server. And then right here, we need to click on publish and then click on go and then continue. And now what we need to do, we need to go back to devices. And right here, we need to choose our switch and then choose where to place it. We're going to place it under the switch tree and then go and then continue. And then same thing for the server. Put it under server tree and then click go and then continue. And then OK. Once this is done, we can click on graph tab on top. And in here, you will see switch and a server. So we're going to choose switch and then we're going to choose our switch. And right here, we're going to be able to see seven graphs. That's the one we actually choose. And now we just have to wait a little bit until it's going to start showing data. And the same thing for servers. Click on server and it has a graph for every CPU socket, for every CPU core. There is multiple pages. You can scroll down spooling processors. This is all my drives. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to let it sit. I'm going to let it wait until it's going to get some data and I'm going to come back with a data graph. So that way I can show you exactly what we can see with the software. After waiting a little bit of time and transferring data across my network, here are the graphs and data I was able to pull from that specific switch. I was using port 24 and then I was using gigabit port number two. That's my trunk port and it shows me switch uptime, VLAN one traffic and other data that can be set over here. So with this free tool, you can capture quite a bit of data. What's going on with your network traffic, if it's spiking or not, just in case if you trying to find bottleneck or maybe what time is the bottleneck happening with this tool you can monitor and right now I set it to the live mode so you can actually see what exactly going on right now on your network. This is a live mode. If this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.